Ah, yes. The Linux Terminal. One of the many great technologies of this day and age where you can just input text and get results back. See, we opened up all your favorite commands. This one here is called top. You also have other commands like ls and cat. I mean, everyone likes cats, don't they? But it makes you wonder though, where on earth did something like this come from? How did this all come about? Where did we get text? Well, there used to be this thing back in the day called a dumb terminal. Dumb terminals enable you to connect to a computer via serial lines. And the dumb terminal can transfer text between the computer and itself, and it would show the text. Now, some of them are mechanical, some of them are video. Now, you can call them dumb terminals or text terminals, but a lot of times though they came with a microprocessor, which made them kind of a computer in of itself. But their only main purpose was to serve one function, display text and report back text. But you don't see these very much anymore. But that is the physical manifestation of the Linux terminal, and that is exactly what we have over here. This is a WY55 from the brand Weiss. Now, nowadays, Weiss is owned by Dell. Dell bought the company. But back then, before it started making regular ass thin clients, they used to make terminals. So this is like the WY50. But this is a WY55. Now, the story behind this thing is I found it in a dumpster. It was just there. It didn't even come with a keyboard. Thing is, I pulled it out of the dumpster, came home with it, plugged it in, worked just fine. So, here it is sitting here. Now, this keyboard here was 60 bucks on eBay because it's a bit of an antique and also a mechanical keyboard. The thing is, is that I got a huge bargain. A complete set with, with the terminal and the keyboard is like $300 on eBay. Just the terminal itself, $100. And most mechanical keyboards these days, especially if you look at the gaming sections at most stores, these things can like go for like over a hundred dollars. So I definitely say I got myself a pretty good bargain, especially considering the fact that this thing here specifically uses Cherry MX Blacks. So it's like these are like really sought after, so I hear. And it's using the retro blocks too because of how old it is. Now the terminal set was built in 1986, but I don't know the date of the keyboard. But hey, let's turn it on. It makes a beeping noise. I should probably also remove that glare. Well, hopefully y'all can see it better. So anyway, now as you can see, it's blank right now. But the thing is though, it doesn't have to be too blank. It can very well just be, it's still connected for sure. So to get it working, you have to press control D so that way Linux knows that there's somebody there. Now, here's the login screen, see? Now, the best way I can describe this is that this is green. Green is a good color. It helps you see better. You can even see it better at night. But that's besides the point. The point is, is that we got text from a Ubuntu Linux system, which is sitting over here. So what can you do with it? Well, just about everything else you could do with a Linux system. You can log in. I'm going to type in this password real quick. One sec. There we go. Now, as you can see, we've logged into a standard Linux system. Now, you can type in your favorite commands like top and other various things like cat. If cat did anything. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is it works. And we can access all the same features as Linux too, like playing videos or manipulating virtual machines. Oh, that was the wrong command. There we go. You can do just about anything with this thing, and thus, that's why it's here on my desk. Because it looks cool and still works with modern hardware. I mean, look at this. The date's correct, and th there's nothing stopping me from doing anything else. I could even browse the web. 
like let's see a web page no it can't load it well nonetheless though it doesn't really matter there we go we can browse the web talk to people and things like that so there you have it, fully functional terminal.